guys, learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about setting up our project for Revit Alarm Systems Design. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create plan views, okay? Because last time, we have learned how to copy and monitor the levels from our architectural link model. So this time around, we are going to create the floor plan and ceiling plan for those levels that we have created. Okay, so what we are going to do, I'm gonna open here the south elevation, so like this one. I'm gonna open the south elevation, so notice that here, some of the levels, you will see that they are colored black, right? You see the bubble? See the bubble? It's colored black. But notice that on our level one and level two, it's colored blue. Okay, so that's because our level 1 and level 2, we already have those plan views of that particular level. So we have level 1 here and then we have level 2. So that's the reason why it's colored blue. Now, if you take a look at our levels 3 until the roof level, the head here, the level head is colored black because they haven't found their way into the project browser yet which is what we are going to do. So we are going to create a plan view from our levels here, from levels three to roof. Okay, so let's get started. So what we are going to do, since it has something to do with view, I'm going to select here the view tab. And then after that, from the create panel, you can see here plan views. So you can click the drop down arrow, and then after that, you can see here now our floor plan. So if I click the floor plan, notice that I have here the levels that we do not have here on our project browser. Okay. And I also notice here that there's an option, do not duplicate existing views, which is uh, at the moment is enable. But if I'm going to uncheck this, so it will show me here the level two, uh, level one and level two. Okay, because what we did is, if you are going to uncheck this, meaning you want to duplicate the existing view. But since I do not want to duplicate the existing view, the level one and level two, I can just check this one so that Revit will show me here all the levels that we do not have floor plan yet. Okay, and then we also have an option here from the type of the floor plan that we are going to create, which is floor plan. And then if I click the edit type here, it will open up the type properties of the floor plan that we are going to create. We're in, aside from call out tag and aside from reference level, we can also modify here the view template of the floor plan that we are going to create. So what will happen is automatically when we create the floor plans for level three, four, five roof, it will apply the electrical plan view template. So if you click that one, you can either select none, you can select architectural plan settings, mechanical plan settings, or plumbing plan settings. Okay, so in my case, I'll just select here electrical plan. So I will show you what will happen. So I'm just going to select here okay. All right, I'll just select OK. Now, since I want all of these levels to be created for my floor plan, so I'm going to click level three and then hold shift and then click roof. All right, so now that all is selected, so I just need to select here OK. All right, so let's check out now what happens. So as you can see from my project browser, automatically levels three, four, five, and then the roof, it's now under the electrical plan because that is the <clears throat> discipline that is set on our view template that is applied to our level 3, 4, and 5, and roof. So if I'm going to click or double-click level 3, you will notice on my properties here, if I move the slider down, there's the view template that I'm talking about. Okay? So if I'm going to click the electrical plan view template, so you will notice that <clears throat> the discipline for that one is electrical. That's why my level 3 is under the electrical subdiscipline. And the subdiscipline here 
Where's my self-discipline? So self-discipline is power. That's why you will see that my level 3 is under the power self-discipline. Same with my level 4, level 5, and then the roof. Okay, and I also want you to notice that if I'm going to change the scale here on my view control bar, if I click the scale, I will not be able to change it. Okay, so if I want to change the detail level, I cannot change the detail level. So if I want to change the visual style, so I can change the visual, uh, visual style. Even if I change here the visibility graphic overrides or any other properties that is pertaining to my level 3 here. So if I click the visibility graphic overrides, you see I cannot change that one. Why? Because there is a view template that is applied to this level here, to my level 3, 4, 5, and roof. So if I want to change the view property of my level 3, 4, 5 roof, so I need to go to my what? Guess what? You need to go to the view template and then you can change from here. Okay, so if I change the view scale to 1 is to 50, for example, all of my level 3, 4, 5 roof will change also to uh, 1 is to 50. And I also want you to notice here that the electrical plan template is applied to four views, which is level 3, 4, 5 roof. So be careful on modifying your view template. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, remove the view template. So I'm going to select none. And then after that, I'll just select here OK. OK, so once I do that one, Notice that if I want to change the scale, I can now change it. Okay, because on my level 3, there is no view template applied. Okay, so for the meantime, I'm going to turn off the view template of levels 4, 5, and then the roof. Okay, but later on, it is always a good practice to create or apply a view template that is set up by your company. Okay, but of course, you can still use the view template, the default view template. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the name of this. So I'm going to click and then F2. I'll just call this, uh, what's this? Uh, I'll just call this level 1. Oops. Level 1. This is uh, uh, level 2. Okay, so maybe I'm just going to delete this two floor plan of my lighting. So I'll just delete that. I don't need that. So I also want to create here the ceiling plans, uh, three, four, five, and then the roof, because I only have one and two here. Okay, so I'm going to select plan views again. This time, let's select reflected ceiling plan because we're going to create RCP. Again, there will gonna be uh template oh all right so good thing that there's no template here at the moment for the ceiling plan so that's okay so i'll just cancel this one all right so i'm going to select all of this i'm not going to include the roof i'll just select three four five and then select okay and it's under the coordination so if i dig in my coordination discipline so the ceiling plans that i have created is under the coordination discipline and the sub-discipline is questionable because if I click level 3 or level 4 or level 5, you will see that there is no sub-discipline here. That's the reason why you have a question mark here. Okay? But it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this view and then I'll change the discipline. Discipline. Where is my discipline? There it goes. I'll change that to electrical. And then for the sub-discipline, so maybe I'll just put it for the meantime under the lighting uh, sub-discipline. And there you go. So it's now under the lighting sub-discipline and then under the electrical discipline. All right. So let me just rename this again. So this is level 1 and this is level 2. There you have it. So basically, that's how you create your plan views. And then if I'm going to select my south elevation again, you will notice that the levels, roof, 
level 4, level 5, and level 3, you notice that the level head already turns, uh, turns to black color. So meaning, there is already floor plan associated to these levels here. So the colors are now color blue, if you will notice. All right? Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. On our next exercise, I'm going to teach you how to create fire alarm views. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.